All right. All right, check it out. Christmas holiday here. Whole family flies in. <clears throat> so happy. Of course, because of the uh, being together with the family, but more importantly, new Rocky movie was out, right? Rocky Balboa, which I like that, not calling it Rocky Six, calling it Rocky Balboa. So, <clears throat> my brother and I, day after Christmas, we can't wait, you know what I mean? We're looking forward to it every day leading up to Christmas to the day after Christmas when we're gonna watch some go together, just the two of us, you know what I mean? Watch the Rocky movie together. Couldn't believe it, you know, it was like Beatles or a Led Zeppelin reunion or something, you know? We were so excited. But um, anyway, we just got done. We just left the theater right now. I'm telling you, man, we were so disappointed. I mean, don't get me wrong, we were moved, but we were a little disappointed. So there were some unanswered facts. I went on the IMDb Internet Movie Database so we could check it out, a little bit of information, you know. First off, Here's the deal. The movie is depressing. I mean, more than like depressing. You actually want to cry. It's like Schindler's List, you know? It's just super sad. And you know, I dig that. You set it up. So you set us up with this depressing stuff just like for an hour and a half. I looked at my phone and it had been like an hour and a half of just pure depression along the way. You know what I mean? And we get it. Rocky, he lost all his money, now he's all down and out and stuff, he owns a little restaurant. And we get that, you're setting us up, right? So we're thinking you're setting us up for this big climax, you know? We think that by the end, you know, you're really going to give it to us. And I have to admit, when the training scene started, the whole theater, you could hear like little woos, and my brother and I, we both like, woo, we slapped each other because the music started, you know? The training started. First off, Training scene was good, but you didn't give us enough training scene. You only gave us like five minutes of training scene, and then it was over, and you probably shot, what, 30, 40, 50 hours of training footage, and then you give us five minutes? No, you did not give us enough. And then it gets to the fight. Larry Merchant's comments, have to be honest, not so good. The rest of it was good. But the fight scene itself, it's like you set us up. You set us up with an hour and a half of just like pure pathos and depression, you know? It's like, man, when right when he like gets that picture of Adrian and you see her face and you just like, you want to cry, you know? Because Rocky, he's like, Rocky's like, he's like Luke Skywalker, you know? He's like Jesus. He's like Muhammad Ali, you know? He's like Mahatma Gandhi or Martin Luther King, you know? He's like an American hero. He's like a legend. He's a myth, you know? So, He's something that means a lot to us, you know, and, and you gave that to us. And, and I think for that, Sylvester Stallone, you know, he should be really proud of that. Like, that's just something that's amazing. He wrote that character. And, you know, my brother made a point. He says, you know, look, he's too old to give us a good fight scene. Because my big complaint, you know, was like, just, what the, just the fight scenes. I mean, come on. You set us up in the training like, like, okay. That, that big dude, the champion, he was going to be all about speed, but Rocky didn't have speed because he's old, so Rocky was all going to be about pounding him, right? But then in the fight scenes, it's all like super high-speed graphics, and it's like both of the fighters like bam, 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 like a video camera, speed against speed, which is exactly what you said you were going to do during the training scenes. You said the other guy was going to have speed and that Rocky was going to be pounding. And uh, as my brother, he's shy, you know, he likes his privacy, he doesn't want to be on YouTube, but he's like, you know, they totally set us up and then they didn't deliver during the fight scenes. During the fight scenes, we wanted to see, like, ribs cracking, we wanted to see, plus the whole thing about letting go of the beast, letting go of the demons within Rocky, you didn't really, you didn't deliver on that, you know? I mean, yeah, maybe in the end when Rocky's leaving the arena and you see the smile on his face, you see that he feels as if he let go of his demons, but... Truth be told, you didn't really give us that in the fight scenes. It was rather disappointing. The fight scene was way too short, and the training scene was too short. You know, you can't give us an hour and a half of just, like, such sadness like that and then end the movie with, like, 
10 minutes of like, you know, a fight filled with just like high speed, you know, flashy colors and all that. We wanted to see like old style Rocky, like a real pounding, you know what I mean? Like we didn't want to see the tall dude like doing his fast shit. And then we want to see Rocky like lifting him up off the ground with all that power talk that you were talking about during the training thing. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, look, I went on IMDB, you know, and I voted and, uh, you know, for, of course, for Rocky, I voted a 10. You know, Rocky 2 and 3 are pretty good. I give those 10s to them. Rocky 4 and 5, you know, you know, out of respect, I didn't vote for those. But for this Rocky Balboa, I had to give it a 6. I mean, as a movie, it was a 6. It's like, I think it could have been, I mean, it delivered in a lot of ways. Like, my brother said, you know, it didn't deliver in the fight, but it delivered in, um, and a lot of the advice and stuff that Rocky gave, you know, and that was good. And, uh, you know, like a lot of the, just the way he is, he's like an American hero, the speeches he gave and stuff, that was all really good stuff, you know. But then, you know, ending it with a split decision where the other guy wins, I, you know, that was also disappointing. You can't set us up for an hour and a half, just pure sadness like that and give us, you know, the other guy wins and not even a tie. I mean, so here's the deal, okay? Hopefully not. You're probably not going to do it. And uh, you probably think a lot of people don't want you to. But trust me, a lot of people do want you to. I think we need a Rocky Balboa too. Okay? I think that Rocky, Sylvester Stallone, looked like he was in good shape. I mean, you are one in shape motherfucker. I mean, we know you had your own supplement line, your own workout magazines. I mean, you, you're the man. You are the man. And so many people admire you and respect you. Even though you seem to take a lot of shit or whatever, or you think you take a lot of shit, but really you don't, you know? America loves you. You gotta give us Rocky Balboa too, okay? Where he comes back. Now, here's the deal. The kid, he finally found someone to fight, to be afraid of, to challenge him. So that's good. So you ignited his fire. And Rocky, okay, he came back and he proved that an old man could do it. But what you got to do now is you got to come back with a non-exhibition fight and a world championship fight, okay, for real. And you got to give us less of like the hour and a half of like sad, you know, people crap because that just was like way too depressing. And you got to give us longer training scenes and a much deeper, more powerful, more intense fight with some slow motion shit where Rocky's really letting out his demons. My brother made a good point. He said, hey, that's what he did in this one. He let out all his demons. But I don't know. But we need more slow motion stuff. We need more jabs to the body where he lifts the guy off and more picks him up and, you know, you know that type of stuff. That's what we want. And then we want Rocky to get paid big money. And we want Rocky to be back on top, you know? It's like, I dig where you're coming from. Like, now he's living in the hood. And uh, you know what? We want Rocky to win, and we want Rocky to win big money, and we want to see him back in a mansion. Him and Polly and his son, and uh, that trainer guy of his, back in a mansion, living the high life. And then you can end the Rocky series, okay? It was a good, it was a good comeback, and it was a good first film, you know, to have a sequel to. That's what we think. So give us a sequel. We dug it, but it left us a little sad be honest with you. Like, it just wasn't enough triumph at the end, you know? It was too much sad setup, all right? Rocky, Sylvester Stallone, Sly, you're the man. America loves you, all right? Give us one more and just make it more powerful, more fighting, and then make him win big money. And let's, let's end this with him in a mansion. That's what we want to see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, good stuff, all right? Thanks for tuning in.